Melly the Crab Finds a Way Out by Gail Omoto. On top of some rocks, alongside a pier, a crab named Melly climbed high without fear. She was so fast, Melly loved going high. She laughed at the other crabs as she passed them by. Melly climbed on the other crabs to get ahead. She stepped on their bodies. She stepped on their heads. When a crab got in front of her, she pulled it back down. Get behind me. I'm first, she would shout with a frown. Though none of the crabs liked her, Melly wouldn't stop. All that mattered to her was being first to the top. One day, as Melly raced towards the sky, she saw something strange from the corner of her eye. She paused just a moment, then cried out with regret, when suddenly she was surrounded by a giant red net. Melly was trapped. She struggled to get free, but the net was too strong. She cried out, Somebody help me! Melee was dumped into a pail on the shore with three other crabs, and now there were four. The other crabs stared at her, then laughed with all their might. Melee went from top to bottom, they said. This serves her right. Melee didn't care, she said. Just watch me climb. I can get to the top anywhere, anytime. But the other crabs grabbed hold of her, and they pulled her back down. Let me go, cried Melee, as she fell to the ground. Melee tried again, but they clung to her leg. We're not letting you out, even if you beg. We're all trapped in here, and you're stuck with us too. If we can't get out, neither will you. Melly finally gave up, and down came a tear. I'll never make it out, she sobbed with great fear. And as Melly's heart quickly filled the dread, the words of her tutu popped into her head. Care for others first, and true joy you will find, said Tutu Papai, so wise and so kind. If you think only of yourself, your heart will be sad, but if you put others first, your heart will be glad. Somewhere along the way, Melly forgot. She forgot about the others and all Tutu had taught. And now Melly realized that Tutu's words were true. Letting others be first is what she must do. Maybe I don't have to be first and the best. Starting right now, I will help the rest. What can I do to make sure they get out? Oh, now I've got it, exclaimed Melee with a shout. Melee told the first papai to climb to her head. Use your legs and I'll help you, is what Melee said. Melee pushed with all her might and the first crab is free. Your turn, to the, she said to the others, let's get you out to sea. Now it was Melee's turn. She knew she couldn't fail. When at last she got out, she looked back at the pail. She knew she always remembered her lesson that day and took an old yellow bucket to show her the way. Melee was so happy and so were her new friends. What a wonderful way for the story to end. For Melee had learned a good lesson that day. When you put others first, you live life the right way.